multiply 2.7 times 5.68. So the first step when multiplying decimals is to write the number with the most digits up top. So 5.68. Then you want to write the other number below it. And you want to line up the numbers. So 2.7. Then you draw a line and you put an X. And now you start the multiplication process. So 7 times 8 is 56. So we write down the 6 and we carry the 5. 7 times 6 is 42. 42 plus 5 is 47. Write down the 7, carry the 4. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39. Let's check our work. 7 times 8 is 56. We wrote down the 6, carried the 5. 7 times 6 is 42. 42 plus 5 is 47. Write down the 7, carry the 4. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39. Okay, I'm going to scratch these out because we're going to have new numbers to carry. So now we go to the 2. 2 times 8 is 16. So now we write the 6 right here, right there. Then you carry the 1. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So you write down the 3, carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, just like that. And we put a plus sign. Let's check our work. 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1. 2 times 6 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13, carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11. All right, now you can put a 0 here. And then just add. 6 plus 0 is 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. So you write down the 3. Carry the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus 3 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. Then we write down the 1. And here's the key point. There's one decimal place here. There's two decimal places here. So the total is three decimal places. You just add them up. So from here, you go three places to the left. One, two, three. Boom, there it is. So it's 15.336. That would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.